In Politics and Governance, Lesson 5, Historical Background of Philippine Democratic Politics, Part 2. Heron Stories Like, subscribe, click the notification bell. After the Spanish colonialism in the Philippines, now we're going to go with Filipino revolt under Spain. First, we have the Gohoy Revolt in Bohol. It is led by Francisco de Gohoy. The cause is the refusal of friars to give his brother a Catholic burial. The achievement of this revolt, it was the longest revolt for 85 years. The second revolt is Silang Revolt led by Diego Silang and Gabriela Silang. The cause is Freedom Spam Spain. The achievement is that Gabriela Silang was named the Joan of Arc of Ilocos. Sumoroy Revolt led by Agustin Sumoroy. The cause is the Polo y Servicio. Achievement is a spread from Luzon and Visayas, specifically Albay, Camarines Province, Mindanao, and Zamboanga. Hermano Pule Revolt led by Apolidario de la Cruz or Hermano Pule. The cause is religious freedom from Catholic religion and refusal to admit Filipinos as members. The achievement is the first Filipino religion which is Confradia de San Jose. Basi Revolt, led by Pedro Mateo and the drunkard Ilocanos. It was, they were forced to buy wine from government stores. The achievement is this is the first unusual revolution. Propaganda Movement Started with the execution of the three priests Gumbursa in 1872, this was led by reformist Jose Rizal, Luciano Lopez Haina, Mariano Ponce, and Marcelo H. Del Pilar. La Solidaridad A newspaper that expresses a goal of the propaganda movement toward achieving assimilation with Spain. The first editor was Luciano Lopez Haina, the second editor was Marcelo H. Del Pilar and the last editor was Jose Rizal. Writers and their pen name Dr. Jose Rizal, the physician, pen name Di Masalang, La Unlaan. Marcelo H. Del Pilar, the lawyer, pen name Plaridel Dolores Pandapat. Graciano Lopez Haina, a journalist, pen name Diego Laura. Mariano Ponce, physician, Pen name Tikbalang Naning Kalipulako Antonio Luna, pharmacist Pen name Tagailog Emilio Jacinto, writer Pen name Di Masilaw, Pinkian Jose Maria Panganiban, linguist Pen name Jomapa Andres Bonifacio, the Supremo of Katipunan Pen name Agapito Bagumbayan, May Pagasa Pio Valenzuela, writer Pen name, Madlangawa. Apolinario Mabini, Presidential Advisor. Pen name, Paralitico Bini. Juan Luna, Painter. Pen name, Juan. Emilio Aguinaldo, President. Pen name, Magdalo. La Liga Filipina, established by Dr. Jose Rizal. A civic organization that would provide mutual aid for its members but also involve its members in the reform movement. The objective is to encourage reforms in the country, to peacefully call on the government to end injustices and abuses, and to bring about unity among Filipinos. Katipunan, KKK Kataas Taasan, Kagalang Galang, Katipunan ng mga anak ng bayan, also known as the Katipunan. Founders is Diodato Arellano, the first president, Andres Bonifacio, the first supremo, and Ladislao Diwa. The members are the elite, middle class, and the masses. The aim is to transform from assimilation to separation, unite Filipinos into one, and independence. Other information. Emilio Aguinaldo is the brain of Katipunan. Cartilla ng Katipunan is the guiding principles of Katipunan written by Jacinto. Apolinario Mabini is the sublime paralytic and the black president. Gregoria de Jesus, Lakambini ng Katipunan. Kalayaan, the newspaper of Katipunan. Enchidoro Patino, 
the traitor who told about Katipunan to his sister Honoria who confessed to Spanish priest Padre Mariano Hill. Philippine Revolution Timeline August 23, 1896 was the cry of Balintawak. The cause was abuses of Spanish priests, persecution of Filipino leaders, and the desire to regain independence. August 30, 1896 was the first battle at San Juan del Monte. September 30, 1896 was the execution of Dr. Jose Rizal at Bagumbayan, which is now called the Luneta at 7.03 a.m. The last word is consumatomes, meaning in English it is done. For added information, kasi minsan tinatanong ng mga teacher ano yung pangalan ng aso ni Rizal, pangalan niya ay Guzman. March 22, 1897, the Heros Convention where Emilio Aguinaldo was proclaimed the president. Mariano Trias was the vice president and Andres Bonifacio was the interior secretary. There were two factions at that time, Magdiwang under Bonifacio and Magdalo under Aguinaldo. Daniel Tirona protested Bonifacio's position as interior secretary. May 5, 1897, Andres Bonifacio and his brother Procopio was sentenced to death at Mag Maragundon Cavite for treason and sedition. May 10, 1897, Andres Bonifacio and his brother Procopio were executed. November 1, 1897, Biak Nabato Republic was created. December 15, 1897 was the Pact of Biak Nabato. The Pact of Biak Nabato was a truce between Spanish Colonial Governor General Fernando Primo de Rivera and the revolutionary leader Emilio Aguinaldo to end the Philippine Revolution. Aguinaldo and his fellow revolutionaries were given amnesty and monetary indemnity by the Spanish government in return for which the revolutionary government would go into exile in Hong Kong. They agreed that Spain will pay $17 million but Aguinaldo only received $600,000. Pedro Paterno volunteered as negotiator between Aguinaldo for the Philippines and Governor General Primo de Rivera. December 30, 1897, Aguinaldo was exiled to Hong Kong. Aguinaldo had decided to use the money to purchase advanced firearms and ammunition later on to return to the archipelago. For added info, Gregorio del Pilar was one of the youngest general at 24 years old. He was the hero of the Tirad Pass, but Manuel Tino was the youngest general at 21 years old. Spanish-American War May 1, 1897, Admiral George Dewey captured Manila from Spain. On May 19, 1898, Aguinaldo returned to the Philippines. June 12, 1898, Philippine independence was proclaimed at Kawit Cavite. The Marcha Nacional Filipina was composed by Julian Felipe and the Philippine flag was sewn by Marcela Agoncillo. December 10, 1898, the Treaty of Paris. Spain ceded the Philippines to U.S. at $20 million. The Treaty of Paris was signed by Spain and U.S. ending the Spanish-American War. Spain surrendered Philippines to U.S. This is the basis of the validity of U.S. sovereign over the Philippines. First Philippine Republic September 15, 1898 the Malolos Congress was held and the Malolos Constitution was created. January 22, 1899, the First Philippine Republic was proclaimed at Barasawain Church. The First Philippine Republic is the first republic in Asia that lasted for two years, from January 22, 1899 to March 23, 1901. The Challenges of the Philippine Republic Territorial boundaries of the Republic which was not defined by the Manolos Constitution. Groups of Filipinos who accepted American sovereignty. Relations to non-Tagalog provinces like the Bicolanos and Visayans by the arrogance exhibited by the Tagalog officials. And legitimacy. Other Filipino communities did not recognize Aguinaldo's government and rejected the Philippine Republic. It's a part two 
of Lesson 5 Historical Background of Philippine Democratic Politics. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel, please subscribe and also hit the notification bell. Watch out for Part 3. This is based again on the curriculum guide given by the Department of Education. Thanks for watching. 